tonight on CBS News 8 at 5. Back to you. All right, Marcella, we'll see you then. We are just days away from the Miramar Air Show, and this year it pays tribute to the men and women serving our country as reservists. Their sacrifices are great as they balance a civilian life with their service to the country and have to be ready to go at a moment's notice. CBS News 8's Ashley Jacobs is live in Miramar with more on that and some of the important security changes you need to know about if you are going to the show. Ashley. Hey, Dan and Michelle, when you join the reserves, you commit to dedicating one weekend a month and a couple weeks each summer to the Marine Corps. But as you'll see, their commitment to their country is so much more than that. It's not a sacrifice. Uh, I think any, anybody, any Marine worth their salt will tell you that it's an opportunity to, to be a citizen. This year, the Marine Corps Air Station Miramar Air Show celebrates attitudes like his, honoring the Marine Corps Reserves and celebrating one years of their service. Uh I just had that, that, that inner desire to serve the country and to, to serve a greater cause. 23-year-old Sergeant Justin Creel is a graduate from UC Riverside, an administrator by trade who's also been a reservist for five years. 32-year-old Sergeant Benjamin Jackson balances his reserve obligations with owning a small business and working for San Diego Fire Department. The reserve uh, components of, of all the branches are often overlooked. During the air show, hundreds of thousands of people will have their eyes to the sky watching impressive stunts and maneuvers. But they'll also be giving a nod of appreciation and gratitude to the men and women on the ground making up the USMC Reserve. Operation Iraqi Freedom, uh, Enduring Freedom, Freedom Sentinel, uh, all the major operations uh, that, you've seen, that you know, people have seen going on around the world uh, were supported uh, by reservists. Well, you can see some of the Blue Angels are already here getting ready for the weekend air show. And if you are going to attend, there are some important security changes you need to know about. Anyone 18 years and older must have a valid government ID for entry. And if you're younger than 18, you need to be with an 18-year-old that does have a valid ID. Now, you also can only bring in bags and purses that are clear, similar to those NFL rules for security reasons.